Hi, you're here sewing with Cody, and this is part four of the Bernina 535 brochure overview with the comparison of the Bernina 5 series machines. So the first video, we covered general information about the machine, and then the next one was sewing and quilting, followed by standard sewing and quilting accessories that are included. And now we're going to talk about embroidery. Because remember, all of the Bernina 5 Series machines are embroidered, embroidery capable. We have one that's embroidery only, and then the other three, the 535, the 570, and the 590, are both sewing and embroidery machines. So let's get started. So at the 535, like I just mentioned, it has embroidery functionality. Now with the 535, it doesn't come standard with the embroidery. So that's excellent. If you just want just a regular sewing machine, you can get the 535 just sewing. But you can always add at the time of purchase or any time down the line of the ownership of your 535, you can always add the embroidery module. I'll insert a picture here showing what the 535 looks like with the embroidery attachment. So like I mentioned, the embroidery module is optional for both the 535 and the 570. So the maximum embroidery speed for the Bernina 535 is right at 1,000 stitches per minute. As for the built-in embroidery designs, let's go take a look. So to access the embroidery side of the machine, right now we're on sewing. Because we didn't have the embroidery module attached to it, when we turned the machine on, it brought us to the sewing side of the machine. So let's hit the home, and let's hit embroidery. So it's prompting us to lower our feed dogs. It'll bring us to our home embroidery screen, which gives us folders, a folder with the alphabets, folder with the built-in designs, and a folder with the designs that we have saved on the machine. Something we may have altered, pulled from a USB stick, or something that we have on the machine saved. So here are our built-in designs. So the 535 only has 50 built-in designs. So we've got some quilting, some applique, some children's patterns, but there's only 50 of them built in. And the Bernina 535, we'll go back, has only four different alphabets. But all the Bernina 5 Series machine are able to read EXP formatted designs, DST, PES, PEC, JEF, SEW, PCS and XXX formatted designs. So it covers the whole spectrum of embroidery design format. So if you're coming from a brother, if you're coming from a singer, a Janome, you're able to keep those same designs. You don't have to reformat them. Just as long as you're on a USB stick, plug it in the machine and the machine will be able to read it. That's a fantastic feature for anybody coming from another brand of embroidery machine. So all the Brina 5 Series machines have on-screen design editing, positioning, mirror imaging, rotating, scaling, which means making your design larger or smaller, and combining designs. All four of the Brina 5 Series are capable of doing those things. Now, the Brina 535 is not capable of pinpoint placement. It is not capable of undo or redo. It is not capable of group and ungroup, and it's not capable of the color wheel. Now, this is where things start to change drastically or dramatically with the Brina 535. So if you are comparing some of the 5 Series machines and trying to determine which machine is best suited for you, embroidery is what one of the areas that will make or break either the 535 or the 590, or even the 500, really depends on what machine you're looking at. If you're wanting to do a lot of embroidery, the 535 may not be your best option. Your best option may be the 590, which sews and embroiders, and it has the full spectrum of embroidery editing features and capability, or the 500, which just embroiders, but has all of the same components editing-wise as the 590. Where the 570 and the 535, the embroidery is something that is not an everyday occurrence for you when you're sewing. 
it's a full-fledged sewing machine that can do embroidery. And it stitches it out beautifully, just like the other machines. It's just you're not able to edit your designs as much, not able to easily maneuver your designs around. And you'll see that more when we talk about the Bernina 500 and the Bernina 590. And I'll have those linked um, when I have those videos out. But the Bernina 535 is able to do the new Invisible Secure. So that's basically, it will stitch in the same, over the same pattern to secure the stitch instead of just doing a random kind of securing stitch. So it's designed to basically make your securing stitch at the beginning, at the end of each design invisible to blend right in with your pattern. Uh, the thread up command, the thread up command is a wonderful feature uh, when you are quilting in the hoop. And we've done this for many other items as well that's not quilting in the hoop. But essentially when you have your design pulled up, and you're about to start, we can use our needle up, needle down, and what it will do is the needle will come down and come all the way back up, and it will allow us to easily pull up our bobbin thread. So if we're quilting the hoop, which I've taught some classes with this, we are able to have the back of our quilt look nice and pretty because we pulled up that bobbin thread and we tied it and buried those threads after we were done. So the thread up command by using the needle up, needle down in embroidery is a wonderful feature. The next thing that the 535 also has is the programmable jump stitch cutting. This is a fantastic feature. This came out a few years ago. So what it does is if you're stitching on a name, if it has like, for instance, my name, C-O-D-Y, it will stitch out the C. It will, after the letter C, it will stop it will cut the thread and then it will move the hoop out of the way to pull that tail from our top thread out and then move back to the next part of the design. In that case would be the O. And once it starts stitching, it will pull that thread down and start stitching. So it eliminates all of your jump stitches down to one millimeter apart. So just as long as your designs or your jump stitches are one millimeter or greater or apart, it will cut and eliminate those jump stitches to leave um, your design nice and pretty. So you don't have to go back and cut those itty bitty little jump stitches. The next feature is the programmable jump stitch cutting. This is a wonderful feature on the 535. All of the Bernina 5 series have it. So this is essentially, you can program the machine down to one millimeter to where it will cut your jump stitches. So as long as your designs are one millimeter or further apart, it will stop after each, after each jump stitch or before each jump stitch and cut the thread and then move on to the next uh, design. So it eliminates you having to go back and cut that initial, those jump stitches. The 535 unfortunately does not have the thread away mode and it does not have the creative consultant in embroidery. Because like I mentioned, the 535 is not a full-fledged embroidery machine when it comes to the features that are built into the machine. It does not have endless embroidery. It does have word art, which is a nice feature. So word art allows us to change the our fonts that are built in. So if we stitched out a name, we can then arch it one way or arch it another way. And we're also able to space out those letters. So if you're dealing with a small word, and you want, to have, you want it to fill in the area a little bit more, you can space out those letters. So I'll show you here. So if we have like a name, just with, I said A, B, C, D. So I can come and I can select my word art and I can use the bottom knob, turning it clockwise will arch it one way. The bottom knob, turning it counterclockwise will arch it another way. Something else we can do is use the top knob and turning it clockwise will space out our letters. But we can't bring them any closer together than what they were when we originally brought them in, but we can space them out. So that's the word art, and that's found on all of our Bernina 5 Series machines. This machine does not allow you to embroider sewing stitches, unlike the 590, which we'll go over in the 590. So the next thing is the free arm embroidery. All of our Bernina 5 and 7 series, including the 8 series, have this ability. And that is, it's 
allows the free arm, very similar to how a commercial or industrial embroidered machine works. So the module attaches, but the free arm is always available because the module doesn't hug the arm like many other brands. It attaches at the base, which exposes this free arm. So it makes it very easy to hoop and embroider on a t-shirt. And I'll insert another picture showing how the free arm embroidery works. So the next item on the list is color resequencing. This is a great feature. This allows us to eliminate some thread changes or eliminate the machine telling us to stop after each thread change to change a color. So basically what it does, if we have a design that has five color changes. So the machine wants us to stop five times to change the thread color. However, we're only using three different colors. As long as certain colors aren't overlapping, an icon will appear on our embroidery screen, which will allow us to select to combine those two colors. So if color number one and color number three were both the same color, if other colors weren't overlapping and had to stitch at a certain in a certain order, the machine will allow us to combine color number one and color number three together, and it'll stitch both of those color changes at the same time. And then it will jump to the second color and then the last colors. So it does save you a lot of time. I'll have a video going over the um, color resequencing to get a better understanding, but all the, all the five series have that along with sequence control, which you can control the sequence of your stitches, Embro uh, embroidery tutorial. So that will allow us, if we have questions on embroidery, you have that on-screen manual with the embroidery features as well as sewing tutorials. We can import and export designs via USB stick. And so the hoops that fit this machine that don't come with it, that are optional, are the MIDI hoop, which is a 10.4 inch by 6.5 inch hoop, or also it's 265 by 165 millimeters. And that's the embroiderable area of that hoop. The other hoop that's available is the mega hoop. And that's a 15.7 inch by 5.9 inch or a 400 by 150 millimeter hoop. Now the mega hoop is a little different from the rest of the hoop. It's a multi-positional hoop. So on the seven series, you can use the whole range of the hoop all at once. But on the five series, we have to reposition the hoop if we want to use the bottom section or the top section. So we can't use a whole thing all at once. We have to reposition it. So the 5 Series also has personal memory for embroidery designs. And the, that's we can do stuff with designs and we can save it on the machine. And those designs will be found in the heart folder right there. The 535 has basting capability, which is great. So if we have... If we have a topping that we need to put on, we can base that down. Or if we're not hooping the fabric within the hoop, we can base it down to really secure that design. And one of the last things is the Bernina Design Works tool compatibility. Um, it is compatible with Design Works, with the exception of punch work. The 535 is the only one that cannot use punch work. So that's it. That covers all the embroidery functions of the Bernina 535. All right. Well, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and happy sewing and embroidering.